Hey, it was Dave. What's going on, everybody? Today we're back with some more Seven Deadly Sins Grand Cross, and we're going to be going over Valentia and Red Easton's banner. We're going to say like, should you summon from Mach 2 Valentia, essentially. So, let's get into it. Uh, let's go over Easton first. Now, I went over them briefly in the global patch notes I did before this video, so make sure to ch check that out. I mean, no, 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 no. You good, bro? We'll cover it here. So. <laughs> SSR, uh, Tuner of Blue Sea, Noblest Eastern, Human, Song of the Sea. Uh, her passive is decreases damage that allies take from single target attacks by 6% for each 7th Catastrophe on the team. So, if you have a full team of Catastrophes, which I, I probably doubt you would, because a lot of the Catastrophes are not even viable in PvP. You could possibly, you could run it in uh, PvE, but... Nah, Lilia's out. Old Valenti out because a new Valenti is here. So, uh, that vastly lowers, like, by the number, you, you know, just like the list gets shorter, is what I'm saying. So, I guess you can run the Eastern and the new Valenti. I guess that's automatically 12%. You can run it in the back, it does work. So, that's 12%. You know, if you run go their Valenti Eastern in the back and another unit in the front, who knows? Uh, it's ultimately up to you. So, her first skill, Water Cannon, inflicts damage equal to 450% of attack on one enemy and depletes three ultimate move gauge. Uh, this is basically the the drain, the single target. It does sick damage at level three and the controlling ults is pretty cool. You know, this Tormio green coin shop Merlin, it dates back to way, way, way back then to that coin shop unit. Uh, her second skill, Bubble Shower. <laughs> That's hilarious, Bubble Shower. Three... <laughs> Three, what? Three removes, I think it just means removes debuffs. This must be like three star. Removes debuffs from all allies, grants debuff immunity and increase defense related stats by 80% for three turns. That's, I believe that's Derriere's buff at level three, but it's for everybody. So this is kind of busted. You, I mean, you could, if you want to run defense, just kind of cheese it. At first, using Goddess Ellie, not Goddess Ellie, the new the new legend, uh, Red Ellie, the New Year's Ellie. She does this exactly too. She gets rid of debuffs and she increases defense related stats. I think with this Easton, it was like able to be done because what people wanted to do is just like use this card with Tarmio. But I think it's because Liz was like a goddess. It kind of like threw a, a wrench into people's plans. So, uh, Easton being a human actually helped it so they can run Easton, Gother, and Tarmiel. So that way they have some offensive capability to have old gauge control and extra defense that you'll be able to rank up a level two and get this and throw it on Tarmiel. And then his ultimate can theoretically just nuke anything. This is not, that's a Thanos that is literally, it's, it's easier to pull off. Uh, if, yeah, that's, that's what I was trying to say. Green Gother. New Year's Ellie and Tarmio, it wouldn't work because they're both goddesses. Yeah, with her being human, yeah, yeah, yeah. That's I was wondering what what I was trying to say, but yes, that's what I was trying to say. Uh, with her being human, you can do the Thanos snap method much easier. If you're interested in that, I think she's a prime candidate to do that. If you have a sick Tarmio, let me know uh, if you're gonna try to pull that off on Global. And her ultimate, you already know what it is. Triste fin. I don't know what it says. I'm I'm just attempt to say it. Inflict spike damage equal to 350% of attack on all enemies. Spike is two times crit damage. I already know what to do. And if she can't crit, she's gonna do some sick damage. Uh, she has, uh, Easton has, well, her ultimate has won me a fair share of matches in the vast tournaments. So, yeah. <laughs> all right, so onwards to Valenti. We can go ahead and close this tab. Onward to Valenti. Human, you already know. Her passive, Inventor of the Era. Okay, cool, sick. Increases that wait no increases heroes pierce rate and crit damage by the value equal to 50% of her crit resistance. So here's the thing. If you want to give her attack crit damage, I feel like that is the way to go and make the crit damage pieces have crit resist rolls. So that way the crit resist feeds into her crit damage, and at the same time you're getting that added bonus of having crit damage. Uh Two crit damage pieces, right? Y'all follow me? So four attack, two crit damage, but the crit damage is reroll substats or crit resist. 
So it seems like a lot of work. You're gonna, I mean, she's hardly gonna be ever credited on because Kerbis is a sick. Uh, but her having defense is kind of mad because it has come to the light that she is a top two CC unit with regular stats. HP defense, uh, regular reroll stats, she is a top two unit. She is missing a HP um, piece, a H, uh, a haircut or whatever you call, you know, the, the thing that goes on her head. It's, she's missing that. And with that piece, she would be a number one CC unit above the one. Let that sink in. Should you summon for it for CC solely? I don't know. It is a, a factor considering SA5 is a thing, but mainly if you're going to summon for it, you're probably going to use it for like her offensive capabilities. If you're a simp and you want to go all out, you have HP defense already for Valencia, and you're like, oh, I might as well just re-roll the like resistant, the old resistance gear I have for her, right? That'll work. I guess you could because you saved yourself some UR like um engraving stones. You could just re-roll the the resistance stats, the defense, and then she could be your CC unit. And at the same time, you can make a defense crit damage set. You win. You get the best of both worlds. So, now I'm done with that. Uh, her first card, Chain Reaction, inflicts set. Why does it, what's this three here? Inflicts severed damage equal to 300% of attack on all enemies. Sever, three times crit chance, and crit chance with her, her, her them giving her crit chance is bonkers considering her pierce rate and crit damage go up. If they gave her like crit chance, that probably wouldn't have been as potent. Then her cards probably would have sucked. It probably would have been like uh, with despair or something. Who knows? Uh, then her second card, focus, right? Punch. I remember seeing this on live stream. It was actually an AOE, and everybody thought she was absolutely busted. So they actually uh, changed it and made her a single target. Inflict damage equal to 400% of attack on one enemy. Nullify all skill effects, including ultimate moves, for two turns. So this nullifying means, uh, let's say LV has his ultimate, correct? You do this card, he lo no longer has secret technique and he is not super effective. No, not super effective, effective against all types. He is just gonna hit like a regular ultimate. It, may, it might hurt, but it will definitely not one shot. Let's say you have a goddess Ellie ultimate. You throw this debuff on her, she does her ultimate, don't get reflect you don't get i don't even think you heal <laughs> i don't think you do anything she just wasted a card so this is broken the fact that on the stream it was aoe was just like oh my goodness bro what what is this but nah is it, single target is just as potent bro it's it's actually sick and event horizon her ultimate increases damage dealt by 50 percent and decreases damage taken by 50 percent for three turns this is a buff it can't be taken off but still like nobody runs like um buff removals anyway so and inflicts damage equal to 350 percent of attack on all enemies uh i believe you get the buff before you actually do it is it like a sawmillies i think that was buffed with her coming out so when she actually performs the ultimate i think she gets increased damage dealt so it's gonna hit it's gonna hit hard. So if you do this and then <laughs> you follow up with no 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 I don't even I think you just hit hit them and then I think the buff is applied. Who knows? Uh, I don't have Mark II Valencia, but from what I've seen, I think you get it after it's hit. So you do her ultimate and you follow up with like a level one or level two is still gonna be destruction, bro, because AOE go burr. So that's Valencia. Uh, you can decide what you want to do with this information from from the looks of her on paper. You think she looks fantastic? Let me know. Uh, let's go over the, the banner. <laughs> this is probably the most awful pudding part. So, we have, you know, MK2 Valenti. We got the, the, the Red Easton. But, you know, we got all these other disasters. We got Camilla. We got Gamer Shin. We got Roxy. We got both monos. We got Old Easton. I don't, I don't think this is Ruler of the Stormy Seas. I think this is Blue Easton. Old Valenti. Awaken Lilia. And Green and Blue Lilia. So, you might be thinking, oh, I'm missing a lot of a lot of disaster units I might summon. I don't think so, because a lot of these units are not even usable anymore. I think gr Green Lilia might be the best usable one, honestly. Mono is uh, fantastic for PvE, right? Like for Final Boss Escanor, even Bond, too. Uh, so, if you don't have them, I think it might be a good chance to get them. But you might have pulled them on that six-unit banner that Global got JP Shaft, by the way. So... Shin is outdated. Camilla, nobody's talking about Camilla. Roxy, I love you, but I'm sorry nobody is 
is like thrilled to see you. Uh, PVE mono, I would say so. Red mono, nah, 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 not at all. Old Easton, nah. Old Valenti, nah. Awaken Lilia, nah. <laughs> like, uh, Green Lilia, nobody's doing backflips with Green Lilia. I think the only like exciting one on here is possibly just the PVE mono. So, other than the featured unit, I think mono is the best unfeatured unit here. So, I guess it's gonna do it. The rate is 0.25%. They're not even rate up. If you wanna summon, I mean, I'm not gonna knock you, but ultimately, if you wanna hear it from me, should you summon for Valenti and uh, Red Easton, I would say no, because there are things in the horizon I would say you, sh you would definitely wanna spend your gems on. And you don't see Valenti too often in PvP, I mean, on, especially on JP like coming from a JP man. I'm telling you. I don't see Val I have never seen Valenti I haven't seen Valenti in maybe the better part of a month and a half I've seen Valenti a total of three times in JP and I play JP every day nearly all day So uh, that's gonna do it. Thank you guys for watching if you enjoyed the video Make sure you drop a like and if you're new to the channel make sure you sub uh, I'll catch you guys in the next one. All right Peace out